Welcome to the installation and setup guide for the Zip Pro by Nexa 3D. In this video, we'll provide you with easy to follow instructions to get your printer up and running as quickly and efficiently as possible. Before unboxing the printer, it's important we find a suitable space for setup and printing. Find an indoor location with minimal UV light, relative humidity of 10 to 70%, and an ambient temperature between 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll also need a stable work surface capable of supporting 250 pounds or more with at least six inch clearance on all sides for ventilation and cable management. You can pause the video right here for product dimensions if you need to find the perfect workbench. Now the printer does weigh 170 pounds, so we do recommend a two to four person lift to avoid injury or printer damage. Once the Zip Pro has been placed in a secure workspace, we're going to revisit the packaging and grab the accessories kit, toolkit, and any other modular components. In the toolkit, you'll find many accessories for user safety, part removal, and cleanup. These items include a tray, a rolled mat, gloves, safety glasses, funnel, syringe, filters, scraper, spatula, cleaning tool, snips, and this pick. In the accessories kit, you'll find the following items. Power cable, USB flash drive, Allen keys and chimps for maintenance, bubble level, and a Nexa 3D water bottle. Place the power cable and bubble level aside for installation. Modular components will include the build plate, membrane, resin vat with spout, and one kilogram resin cartridge. Place these four items aside for installation. With the Zip Pro on a stable surface, we can now level the printer. To level the printer, open the front door, and we're going to place our bubble level directly on the center of the LCD screen. I like to wear gloves so I don't leave any smudges. Check to see if the printer is level. If not, carefully turn the four recessed leveling feet to adjust each corner until the bubble reads level. The bubble level indicates that our printer is now level. If you ever have to relocate the printer or swap out desks, I definitely recommend re-leveling the printer as surfaces can be uneven. Cable connections are located at the rear of the printer. Connect the power cable to the back of the printer and then the electrical outlet. Turn on the switch located behind the printer to power on the Zip Pro. Once the printer is powered on, the printer will boot up and the interior light will turn on after 5 seconds. The touch screen will show the boot progress after a delay of 10 to 20 seconds. There is an optional Ethernet port should you prefer a LAN connection over Wi-Fi. The first time you power on the Zip Pro, a welcome screen will guide you through the setup process. Tap Get Started on the welcome screen and use your phone to scan the QR code. This will redirect you to the printer registration form. Enter the remaining information on the registration form and click Submit. You'll receive a four-digit PIN to enter on the Zip Pro. Enter that four-digit PIN into the touchscreen number pad to complete the registration process. And congratulations, every printer purchased plants 10 trees in the Nexa 3D forest. Tap Continue to connect to Wi-Fi. Select your preferred network. Enter the password. And press Join to connect. Your printer is now registered and online. Inserting the bill plate in the Zip Pro is actually quite easy. Make sure the handle that says Zip Pro is not up, but rather down. Support the bill plate with one hand on the bottom and one on the top. Slowly insert it into the two channels until it reaches the back. Pull up the Zip Pro handle. It's locked into place. And remove your hands and close the door. Using the optional slot of bill plate will insert the exact same way as the solid bill plate. Flip the vat upside down and place it on a clean and level work surface. Place the membrane on the bottom of the vat with the gasket facing downwards. Once the membrane is in place, flip up the four inner clamps and rest the edge inside the groove. Carefully pull all four outer clamps downward, ensuring that the inner clamp continues to rest within the gasket grooves. Flip the vat right side up and place the resin spout on the back right hand corner, pressing down to snap on and attach. Lastly, lower the resin vat assembly onto the LCD. The magnetic clamps will lock in place automatically and can be unlocked through the menu. The quantity and types of resin shipped with your Zip Pro will vary by order, but will always include a 1 kilogram bottle of resin and a larger optional 5 kilogram bottle of resin. Let's load this one first. Before pouring the resin into the vat, shake the bottle for 30 seconds to evenly distribute pigments and sediments. Pour roughly 1.5 liters of resin into the vat, stopping at the halfway indicator between 1 liter and 2 liters. The remaining half liter will be topped off with a smaller 1 kilogram resin cartridge. Just like before, shake the resin cartridge for 30 seconds. Remove the twist cap and rotate the bottle with the NFC tag facing upwards. 
Lower the bottle into the resin chute and onto the resin spout. The gravity-fed resin cartridge will top off the vat and automatically stop at 2 liters. Next, it acts as our proprietary slicer for positioning, adding supports, and generating print files. On your preferred workstation, visit the Nexa 3D support page at support.nexa3d.com. Navigate to the Nexa X menu and select Installation and Activating. Confirm your workstation meets the requirements and select the link below to install the latest version of Nexa X. When completed, open Nexa X and navigate to the gear icon on the bottom left. Select Upgrade License and enter your Nexa X Pro License key. This will upgrade the free license from Basic to Pro, offering significantly more features for ZipPro users. The X-Wash is a high-performance wash station specifically designed and optimized for washing 3D printed parts. To get started, remove the cardboard lid and place any power cables to the side. Remove the top layer of foam and slide the cardboard sleeve up and off of the packaging. Carefully remove the surrounding foam and plastic wrap. Open the top lid and put aside any accessories found in and around the basket. The X-Wash weighs 125 pounds and will require a second set of hands when moving. Do not hold the valves while lifting as this could damage the seal. Turn on the X-Wash by installing the correct power cable, pressing the power switch, and releasing the emergency stop. Press the up and down buttons to cycle the Z-axis. With the valves closed, Z-axis lowered, and the proper PPE, load 10 gallons of X-Clean into the X-Wash. You can use the included siphon pump or pour directly into the reservoir. When washing parts, you can directly insert the bill plate into the bracket with parts still attached, or separately in the adjustable basket. To cure large parts or large quantities of parts, we developed the X-Cure. The X-Cure is designed to post-cure any photopolymer in the 365 to 405 nanometer range with three curing modes, UV, heat, or UV and heat. To start unboxing, grab a drill and remove any Phillips head screws marked with an X. Make sure to get all 16 screws at the base and the four on top. Pull the front cover off and slide the back half of the crate to the side. Unlatch the retaining strap and remove the plastic wrap. Check the voltage selector switch on the back and make sure this is correct for your region. The x -Cure weighs 110 pounds and will require a two-person lift when unloading. Open the included accessories box and install the power cable. When adding the translucent shelf, remove the protective film to allow for even curing. The larger piece will serve as the splash guard on the bottom. Power on the cure and you're ready to start curing parts. Now that our ZipPro is level, our membrane and vat have been inserted, and resin's been topped off, we're ready for our first print. Our first print is going to be this small multi-use syringe. Let's start by opening Nexa X and importing our STL files. One of these files appears to be corrupt, but don't worry, Nexa X will fix it for us. We're going to move both parts to the top left corner and start generating supports with default settings. Use the eraser brush to remove unnecessary supports, and then reapply. For maximum throughput, we're going to print 16 sets of syringes using the array function. Four across, and four down. When complete, save the print job to your local drive. Then send it to the printer queue. Head on over to the Zip Pro and access the print queue from the print menu. Confirm the pre-print checklist and proceed with your print job. The bill plate will lower into the resin vat and begin printing. You can swipe left to right on the screen to see the active layers. When the print job is complete, take out the bill plate and remove your parts with the included scraper. Supports can be removed by hand or with the included snippers. Following X-Wash recommendations from our support portal, parts printed in X-Model 15 should be loaded in the X-Clean and rinsed for 2 minutes with a follow-up rinse in 40C water or IPA. After rinsing with IPA and air drying for 30 minutes, we'll place these on the translucent shelves in the X-Cure and select Cure for 30 minutes. When the curing is done, we'll remove the parts from the shelves and wipe away any resin residue. All that's left is adding some O-rings, and we've got a set of syringes from our Zip Pro. 
For further instructions or general maintenance on your Zip Pro, reference the included startup guide or visit the support portal down below. Thanks for watching and happy printing.